uh, the professor Strom. My name is Bishop Lawrence Mabeta from Tembisa Vusmusi. And the prophecy I received from my daddy, the apostle, Makanonis is true, because uh, he said that many people left the church, which is true. Because uh, if I can tell on Sunday, we were, mo we were less than 15 for the first time since we have started the ministry. And then uh, I, I stopped not coming to church for some time you know, in Charis because of the, the, the guy who bought me the tent. He said, no, if I go, I go to Ch Charis and then I will never give you my service anymore because it was help me with money. And then I stopped coming here. But my spirit always tell me that I don't have to stop. And I always come every month and then, but things are not moving well. But I think for the prophecy because he said, um, at my church, and he even say, I'm using the tent, which is true that I'm using the tent. Are you using a tent? Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. You are using a tent? Yes. This year will be full that tent. Amen. 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 When I'm praying with you, I heard that people are laughing at you. It's true. Uh, even those who have helped. Because many people left the church. They left the church. Amen. Stand up. I want to pray for you. The church will be full. Amen. You, you will come and give us testimony. Amen. 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 Yeah, because these people, they, I saw where they went now. Amen. So don't even go there again also. Amen. 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 You were there. You went to attend the church there. Amen. Huh? It's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You went to this tent of, I think it's red. Amen. It's true. Is it red? It's true. Yeah? It's, re it's red. So now from there, what they did to you was very bad. It's true. Now, these people are still talking about it. That's why they are leaving your church. It's true. It's true. Don't go back there. Otherwise, you are, you are going to be disgraced more. This people has been disgracing you. Can you just confirm what I'm saying? It's true. Huh? Yeah, since, since I get the tent, there's so many things happen. Because the guy wanted to rule me because he bought the tent for me. Because I was coming to this church every time and he stopped me to come to the church. He said, I bought you a tent and you are coming to that church. Why are you going there? It's like there's a people that he, he sent so that he if I came here, I must go for the meeting. So me and my wife, I decided, no, no, I don't want to be ruled like this. Because it was... You went to him, he, he told you that if you come here... You will never help me with anything. Huh? You will never help me with anything, money, whatever. Is it having money? A small, small. <laughs> so I'll pray for you. God loves you. Amen, amen. And also you must forgive him. Amen. Yes. Go, go love. When I'm praying for him, I'm seeing someone driving Porsche. It's true. Who's there? He's the one. He's the one. Okay. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm so blessed to hear that kind of prophecy. And now I know that I believe that because the man of God has spoken, my ministry will change and things will change in my life. How are you feeling right now that the man of God has spoken unto your life? So I'm celebrating, my spirit is celebrating. I'm feeling very great. I feel being honored to hear the kind of prophecy because this prophecy is like a deliverance in my life because it opened my eyes also. Not to trust in men, but trusting God. By what are the words of encouragement that you can give to other pastors out there who are facing the very same situation? They, they are running from the presence of the Lord because of they are getting a financial help from someone. What can you say to them and what have you learned from the situation that happened to you? Uh, I can say to all pastors out there, or either your prophet, uh, believe in God. Not trust a man every time that men will help you because... And then you'll be disappointed. When you don't help, you will, be, you will be disappointed a lot. So it's better to put your trust in God so that God is the one who can fulfill whatever you need. He can give you whatever you need, all your needs. 
So I'm so very great to, to be here today and receive my prophecy. I say, God, amen, amen. Thank you, sir. Amen.